Okay. Oh my gosh, I can't believe this. Pay thousands of dollars for this software and can't even get into the dial pad. Let's see if I can access the GPS. GPS is not working either. Can I get some software that can allow me to access the keyboard GPS? At least combine and do something. It's way too much money for this. I can only find something. Ding, ding, ding. Hello, Corey. Whoa. Who the hell are you? Well, some companies got geckos, some got cavemen. Androids got me. Android, you know, Android. Android, the embedded OS for mobile phones. Okay, I'm working on a mobile phone project right now. You don't say. And I hear from a reliable source that you've been having some problems. Well, that was not niche, but uh... No, 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 no. I'm talking more about your mobile development problems. Oh, that problem. So, what are you trying to do here? Well, I'm sitting here, I'm trying to get access to the dial pad on this phone, and I'm really having trouble with it. Well, have you heard about Android? Haven't heard of it. What does it do? We are the latest craze in embedded mobile systems OS, buddy. We give you access to the hardware. We give you access to the software. We give you even an SDK, so you can access your GPS, your dial pad, and your touchscreen, among other things. What about the ease of it? Well, I hate to break it to you, buddy. But Android, we're cheap and easy. Oh, okay. And let me tell you something else. You know that convoluted framework that you're working with right now? Yep, I, I do. It's very convoluted. Android, Linux based. So, you must be familiar with that. That's just what I was looking for. You know what? Instead of me telling you about Android, why don't I show you? Have a good look at this guy. Android is a complete and comprehensive software platform developed by Google company for mobile system and cell phones. Android is a complete software and platform and environment and stack of software layers which has applications, application components and libraries, middle middle level and middleware libraries and engines and run times and operating system and device drivers. Android already has main software for mobile system and it can have new software. Besides the Java applications and Java components and Java runtime and environment, Android also has and C and C++ libraries and, C and middlewares that are implemented with C, for example a database and security and all the other libraries. Android also has the operating system. The operating system goes in the lowest layer of the software stack. The operating system is based on Linux kernel 2.6 and the device drivers for the Linux. The reason that Android uses Linux is because of the because of its success and its, its popularity. As you have probably guessed so far, all the software layers of Android are already open source and freeware software. Alright, so I listened to the Android guy and I downloaded the software. Let's see what it can do. Looks pretty good. I wonder. I wonder if I can access the, the storage on the system to use this software that I came up with to view pictures and videos. How would I be able to do that? Ding, ding, ding. Hello, Corey. How are you doing? I'm pretty good. Got this new software so I'm trying to put it to use. Yeah, yeah. So I see. So how, how are things working out? Um, not too sure yet. Just downloaded it. I wanted to see if I can access the file system because I got this real neat software that allows me to that allow you to see the pictures and video and the videos on the phone. How would I be able to do that with Android? Well, let me ask you this: Were you able to do it with your old SDK? Never. 
I would try it for days, couldn't get it to work. Well, that's the beauty of Android, buddy. Now you have access to your entire file structure. You want access to your videos, you got it. You want access to your pictures, you got it. Everything is wide open for you and you to access. Really, I could do that? Show me. Yeah, why don't I show you? Take a look at this. Besides the software stack, Android also provides a complete IDE and software development uh, and for, for Eclipse uh, environment and a rich uh, emulator, mobile emulator. Android storage and retrieval system is uh, however unique in that a software access its resources and a file with a with an API and uh, indicating the name of the files but other, other application cannot directly access these resources and these image files in the same way. Since in Android filing system, the resources and images of each application are only accessible to that very application. If the application wants to share its files and resources with others, it requires to uh, define and use a content provider. Android has APIs for graphic programming, both for 2D and 3D graphics. And the 3D graphic APIs are acceleratable if the if the system has hardware chips for 3D, and the software the application can integrate and combine 2D and 3D uh, graphics together. The user interface and a stop class of each Android application is Activity, so uh, so there should be a, an extension of Activity class for each form and each user interface of an application including graphical application. To make a 3D application using OpenGL APIs in the undraw function of the activity class we get we should get to the uh, we get hold of the G, a GL class and use the GL uh, libraries and function for the rotation and all the stuff. stuff. Get that? Ah, works great. Mm -hmm. Okay, yes. Man, I love Android. Ding, ding, ding. I love you too, buddy. <laughs> hey, man, you can't just be popping up on my screen like that. You're more annoying than that itch I was trying to get rid of. What if I was doing something personal? Whoa, 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 bad image, don't want to picture that. I was just wondering how you were doing with Android. Man, this is like the best thing ever. Like, I just created this GPS Maps application, it's awesome, check it out. Whoa, you mean to tell me you've been playing with Android for the past couple of days and you've been able to develop an entire GPS mapping system? Well, I am kind of skilled. So it's probably up to me, but I'll give some of the credit to Android. I also created a web browser too, and an email application. Hold up, hold up. The maps, I could have believed. But now you brought in those two other applications? No way. Buddy, I'm going to have to call your bluff. You're going to have to back that up with some. As I already said, Google Android already has a web browser application. The web browser uses the open source libraries that the Safari browser use. The cool thing about the, the browser, the Android browser is that uh, it uses a browser view so any other application can use this component. There is also a, there is also a Google map application that, that the map application also uses a Google map view so again any other software can embed a map into the software, particularly local based applications. Well, looks like another successful Android story. Android to the rescue once again. Now about that itch, well there's nothing that I can do about it. Sorry. <laughs>